much should we pay for jeans? The market is awash with all kinds of jeans of every cut and color and shape and price, of course. Now, prices can range anything from 14 euro to a pair I saw the other day, right up to thousands of euro for a pair from say Dior. Now, with the Dior jeans, you are paying for the name, of course, but what about the more mid-range jeans? So jeans from a Goldie, for example, from Frame, Citizens of Humanity. Those jeans, you know, are all around 200 euro to 350 euro. And my question is, are they worth it? Should we be paying that extra price for those kind of mid-range jeans? Or should we be sticking to our high street counterparts? So say under 100 euro, for example, and you know are we really paying more for more quality more flattering fits for example or you know are the jeans that are 100 euro just as flattering just as high quality well i want to find out so today i'm going to compare my goldie jeans to my and other stories jeans now, I am comparing like for like here in that they are both light wash denim, they're both high waisted and they're both straight leg fit. So very, very similar cuts, very similar fabric as well. The Goldies are 100% cotton and the and other stories are 99% cotton and 1% elastane. So, you know, they are pretty similar in terms of their fabric composition as well. If you're new here, which you most likely are, because this community has been steadily growing over the last couple of weeks. My name's Trish, and I started this channel to share all of the knowledge I've been rapidly accumulating since starting over on my closet and my personal style in 2020. I post new videos every week, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss out. So today, let's dive in to discover whether you really need to pay the big bucks for jeans or if by being clever and knowing what to look for, you can get the look for less. Let's go. I decided to do this video on the day my and other stories favorite cut cropped jeans arrived in the door. And I was so favorably impressed by the quality and the fit that I just had to do a video about them. I'd arrived home that same day after looking for a pair of light wash straight leg jeans um, in my local town. And I had tried on jeans from Frame, Page, A Goldie, Citizen, Citizens of Humanity. And so the quality and the fit of all of those higher priced jeans was very, very much uh, fresh in my mind when I tried on my favorite cut cropped jeans from And Other Stories. And that is why I was so favorably impressed with the quality. You know, I tried them on and I was like, wow, these jeans are so similar to all of these much more expensive jeans I've been trying on all day. And it made me think, it made me wonder, you know, should we really be paying more for these jeans? So today I'm going to compare and contrast my and, the, and other stories jeans, which were 79 euro versus my Goldie Fenn jeans, which were 269 euro. And I'm going to look at the two of them together and see how they compare. So starting with the similarities, they're both in a light wash. They're both size 27. I would say they're both true to size, but the Goldie ones definitely have loosened up, even though I haven't even worn them out yet. So that is why I think so many people say to size down in a Goldie. And I would say that's definitely true here as well for the Fen jean. They are both straight cut, five pocket style and high waisted. The only difference here is that the Goldie is an 11 inch rise and the end of the stories is a 10 and a half inch rise. Personally, I find that rise absolutely perfect on my body type. I wouldn't really want it to go too much higher. 12 inches is the maximum I will go. The ply on both is the full length of the front of the jean. And that's important because if you see a shorter fly, it means that the manufacturer is cutting corners and saving money and you, the wearer, end up with camel toe and no one wants that. So both full length flies, sign of good quality here. 
Even though the pocket placement is really good in both jeans, high and not too wide or narrow, I am starting to see differences here in the way the jeans are constructed and the way they fit on my body. So there is a higher waistband in the Goldie, a wider waistband, and it makes a difference, a good difference to how it fits. Um, there's also just more kind of fabric um, on the top of the jean overall and again that's more flattering on my body so the agoldi is creating a more tapered shape around the booty i think whereas the end of the stories makes me look a bit rounder and that is all to do with construction and craft basically so the agoldi is really really showing its quality here sticking with the agoldi here for a while so and it has loosened up a little bit even though I haven't even wore it out properly yet so the waistband is a lot looser than when I tried it on in the store first and um, you can see that there is kind of minimal looseness around the hips and thighs and um, there is a bit of a waist gap as well now to be honest with you this makes it really comfortable I probably wouldn't even get this tailored way it's absolutely fine because the jean holds its structure and it holds its shape and still looks very flattering on the body. So for me, that means that there's really no need to get it tailored and, um, and it will just have the added bonus of being comfortable. Now, a note on the hardware here. Um, so there is a button fly on the Goldie, whereas there is a YKK zipper on the end of the stories. I absolutely love the button fly. The hardware is really, really, or the buttons I should say, are really, really good quality on the Goldie jean as you'd expect. But having said that, a YKK zipper will stand the test of time as well. So I'm really happy with the zipper on the end of the stories jean also. Before I go back to full length shots of the jeans, I wanted to talk about the color of the wash on the back of both of these jeans. You can see that there's some dark spots in the wash along the very middle seam that goes right up to the top of the waistband on both of them. And I love this detail because those darker spots draw the eye up to what is my narrowest point, which is my waist. So again, that wash color is really flattering. And on the end of the stories, Jean, I think it's really, really impressive attention to detail for such a well-priced jean. These are 79 euro, just to remind you. So I think that attention to detail is just excellent. Lastly, I'm going to talk about fabric composition and how instrumental and important it is in deciding whether you should pay more for a pair of jeans or not. But first, if you're finding this video useful, give it a like because it helps it to reach more people. And of course, do subscribe because I post new videos every week. Just a note on the inseam here, the Goldie ones are longer than the end of the stories jeans, as you can see. So I will be getting them tailored up about an inch or two so that they sit just around about my ankle bone. As I mentioned at the beginning, the fabric content of the Goldie is 100% cotton and the end of the stories one is 99% cotton and 1% elastane, which they're both excellent fabric compositions because it just means that they're less likely to lose their shape over time. Fabric composition is absolutely essential to take into consideration. So for example, that day that I told you about where I was trying on loads of jeans from kind of higher priced brands. So Anina Bing, for example, Frame, a Goldie, of course, I really noticed that fabric content made a huge difference. So for example, there was a pair I tried on from Frame, which had, I think it was 2% um, elastane, and then it actually had 5% um, synthetic count as well. And honestly, those jeans behaved the same way as a much cheaper jeans that I'd bought in the past. Um, and that was because of that kind of low quality fabric count, frankly. Now, there were other jeans that I tried on from Frame that were excellent, but without exception, all of them had a fabric content that was at least 98% cotton. So, you know, if you are wondering whether you should pay more for jeans, pay special attention to the fabric uh, content. At the end of the day, a brand name will mean absolutely nothing if it has like 3% elastane and, you know, 6% polyester. You know, it just won't last the same way as a 99% to 100% cotton jean will. So... 
do I think we should pay more for jeans? Let me know in the comments if you agree with what I'm about to say, by the way. I'd be really interested in your thoughts. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is you can find high quality under 100 euro. The and other stories jeans have shown you today have proven that. The bad news is that a good quality to price ratio is hard to find and you are much more likely to find a well-constructed and flattering jean if you pay more. The main things to pay attention to are fabric, make sure there is 2% elastane or less, ideally less. Make sure there are no synthetics either. You really want about 99 to 100% cotton um, in your jean. Look out for hardware, such as a YKK zipper or a button fly. And speaking of flies, make sure the fly length is full length along the front of the jeans. A shorter fly length is an indication of lower quality. If you find a jean with these attributes at under 100 euro and fits you correctly, you're onto a winner. If you have the money, it is worth going for a more premium jean as long as those attributes, fabric, hardware quality and fly length are present. Thank you so much for watching today and I really hope you found something that was useful to you in this video. Let me know in the comments what your favourite jeans are, what your favourite brands are and what you look for in a jean as well. I'd be really, really interested in your perspectives and thoughts on the subject. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye. Who's gonna save you? Who's gonna make you?